I'm back with another project. So I'm remodeling a house here and we went and painted the cupboards when we moved in and put new flooring in and we didn't do the countertops or the tile work. It was kind of a kind of a tannish rental color is what I call it. Beige maybe like these kind of plugs, just that neutral color. So we've since moved out, but we're trying to get this listed. So I gotta go through and get this stuff done. So one of the things I'm trying is this Gianni countertop paint. I would like something more maybe with a granite look, even though this is supposed to be kind of a granite, you know, the one with the lines. Yeah, that's like an epoxy. And, you know, I have no experience with this stuff, so I'm kind of learning as I go. So I figured this is probably the simplest. I'll try this one, see how that works. And then in the new house, when I go to do those counters, then maybe I can try an epoxy. So I've gone through and done step one, and that is a flat black primer. It's pretty simple. I mean, you clean the counters off, let them dry, um, and you, what I did is it comes with a foam brush and I just, I brushed all the edges in all the way around. You know, make sure you tape up, give you some clean lines. And then it's got a roller and that's what you roll the flat on. It says it does 35 square foot. Um, I think I have a little more than 35, but that's, it's counting. You're going to be doing part of the backsplash too. And I don't have a backsplash as part of the counter. Mine's all tile. So the next step here, Step one, roll on primer two is put the minerals, as they say, on. And it gives you pretty much what it's supposed to look like. So I'm gonna be doing that in a little bit here. Uh, before that, we had a piece of this Formica that was broken and I tore it off, hoping that maybe that primer would fill it and no, it didn't. So now I know. So I'm using a new thing I've never used before. This JB Wood Restore. It's kind of a two-part, kind of like an epoxy almost. And it's supposed to cure in about an hour. Then you can sand it up and stuff. Um, I may go put a little bit more on here in a little bit. But I want to give this a little bit of time to flash. Once that's done, I'll sand it all smooth. And I mean, you won't be able to tell, obviously, because it's all going to be painted. But my hope is... This primer takes eight hours, that's what they say, to let it dry. And then you can do this next step, putting the minerals on, and you gotta wait four hours before you can do the third step, which is the clear top coat. I think that's an epoxy, I'm not sure. It might just be like a clear coat or something. It, might, it may just be paint. I don't know, but. If it looks anything like the box, I'll probably be pretty happy, but we'll see. So I'll come back when i am uh, got a little bit of the minerals put on and we'll see how that looks. Okay, I got most of the main counter covered. I'm not, I'm not doing this part until all of it's done because I lean up against it and that happens. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see what it looks like after the clear is on it. Kind of difficult for me to do it and make it look like the way it does in the thing. But this is with all three step C's. This part here is just the gray. So what I've been doing is I go around and I feather in around the edges 
and I go to the next color, do the same thing. Um, I think this might end up a little more gray than bright white, which is fine. I think it'll match the rest of the kitchen better. So I'm going to get this part done, do the rest of the edge, and I'm going to address this. This is ready to sand, so I'll bring you back. All right, step two is done, and it is dry to the touch. And it turned out quite a bit better than I thought it was going to. So the next step is going to be this glitter top coat. That's got to be, it's actually a two part step. <clears throat> you put one layer on, it's got to cure at least four hours. And then tomorrow I'll come back and I'll get the final coat on. I'm really anxious to see what this is going to look like, all shiny and whatnot. And getting that backsplash put up will really make it look nice. Finally, the kitchen will match after almost a year. So, I'll bring you back when I get the coat done. Kind of see what it looks like shiny. It ain't going to be the same. They said this goes on like with a blue tint, but it dries clear. So, maybe it won't look very good, but we'll see. All right, first top coat is on. I'm going to head home and tomorrow I'll get the second coat on and then after that I should be able to uh, wait a couple days and I'll get the backsplash tile and put up and we'll kind of do a little reveal and see what she looks like. Change all the outlets out for some newer stuff. Yeah, it should look a lot nicer. Okay, the last coat is on, all of it. I had a pretty significant amount left. I probably had enough where I could have done three coats, but I don't want to wait anymore. I just put one kind of, went around at once and then came back and used the rest of it and covered it. You know, it looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than I thought it would. Right now it's got the little blue haze to it because of the clear coat, the glitter coat is, goes on kind of a light blue, but it dries clear. You know, so some takeaways. This is the kit I used, the Gianni White Diamond. It says it covers 35 square feet. Um, that's supposed to be with a backsplash. I don't have a backsplash. I'm gonna have tile. So that probably helped out a little bit. It was supposed to include primer, glitter top coat, graystone quartzite, and then the two white limestones. I didn't get any quartzite. My can was mislabeled. The label, said quartzite but the top of the can said the white limestone and that was what was in it um, for me in this particular instance really didn't bother me I didn't want any of the reds and browns so that worked out fine um, it comes with basically everything you need it's got the roller foam brush sponge and two pads for the glitter coat I took and covered the the roller in a plastic bag sealed it up tight and put it in the refrigerator and it was fine it's ready to use this morning it takes a while and I guess maybe I'm a little OCD but that sponging process to get a good um, cover because I wanted as much of the black gone as I really could 
and and never having done it, I didn't really know what I was doing, honestly. So, yeah, that that process it took quite a while. You know, I don't have a, a ton of counter space. There's this kind of little L shape here, and then that one's probably a two by two and the one and a half by two or whatever length it is. So it was just enough in the kit to do what I needed. And I noticed when I was applying it, while right after I got done applying it, it I thought it was gonna look terrible. It really didn't look good, but actually it kind of settled out because it didn't look like this after application. It sat and all the paint kind of settled out and then it gave it a pretty nice texture. A lot better than I thought it would be. Um, I had, you see, I had gray stone left over and you know, obviously white limestone because I had three cans of it. Um, I went back over it one time with white to get to lighten it up. It was pretty dark after the initial application. And yeah, that's about it. My, this is probably about as straightforward an application as you'd ever have. The only difference I had was on this counter, this piece of formica here, it was actually broke off over here. If I had tried ripping it off, just primering over it, and yeah, it looked like crap because it's just the particle board underneath it. So I ended up, this is what I use, this wood restore putty. It's a two part, mixed it up on this drywall and laid it on there. And I came back and roughed it to shape with 80 grit and went back over with 220. And it really, it looks pretty good. I mean, I don't think, unless you knew you probably couldn't tell. It's pretty flat. You know, if you take your time sanding it, it will look pretty good. I would recommend taping off better than I did. We have to do quite a bit of repaint because we painted the weekend we moved in and you know, just lived here and there was some nicks and junk. So I wasn't too concerned about it, but this was spots where I got some paint on the floor. This is LVP, the paint will just pop right off of it, but it's just more clean up. If I had went through and just laid plastic down, taped it up, that, you know, would have been a lot easier to just rip that plastic up than have to scour around, trying to find all the little dots of paint and stuff. And, but that's my fault. Um, yep, I think that's about all I got. It really turned out pretty good. I might do a quick video after all this is dried, get some light on it, see what it kind of looks like finally done at the end of this video. Probably won't be doing any talking, but hopefully this helps you out. Um, not an expensive kit, I think it was $90. So this is definitely something about anybody can do. I mean, I'd never done it before and it turned out pretty good and I'm not real artistically inclined. So, all right, thanks for watching.